In this section, we're going to concentrate on learning to spin. To help us with this, we've got a simulated ball here, which is a disc. Now, the key fe feature of learning to spin is to make sure that you're brushing the ball on contact. If you're brushing the ball finely, then you can get the ball spinning around. Now, we've got a clock face on here. If you contact the ball around one or two, you're going to get some top spin on the ball. If you contact the ball at around four or five, you're going to get backspin on the ball. To generate side spin, we're going to hit the ball on a different plane. So now we've got the disc flat. So to generate side spin, we can hit the ball at nine or at three. The next thing we'll focus on is generating more spin. The two critical factors that we'll focus on first are brushing the ball and then brushing the ball as fast as you possibly can. So by brushing the ball, we mean contacting the ball as finely as you can. If you think of an insect sitting on the ball there and you're gonna try and just brush that insect off without damaging the ball. So that will generate good spin on the ball. The second thing is then to see how fast you can brush it to make that ball spin even faster. So if you've got the spinning wheel, if you brush it slowly, it'll spin slowly. If you brush it fast, it will spin fast. If you brush the ball slowly, the ball will stop on the table. If you brush the ball faster, the ball will stop and come back towards you because it has more spin on it. So you can see that the real key to learning to spin is to brush the ball as fast as you can. The first type of spin we'll look at is backspin, because backspin is probably the most important of the spins that you will do with your serving. It's the hardest type of spin for your opponent to attack. When the ball is heading in that direction, backspin means that the ball is spinning that way. So to generate that backspin, we need to start with our bat up a little bit higher and brush at the base of the ball down there that will generate our backspin. Let's have a look at the effect that the backspin has on Jeff's bat. You can see that as soon as it hits his bat, it dives straight down into the table. And that's what makes it more difficult for the attacker. Side spin means that the ball is rotating in a sideways direction. So the plane of, your, of the ball is flat and now it's rotating around a central axis this way. So with the side spin now, the ball is rotating around that way. So if I hit the ball here with my bat nice and vertical, you can see the ball starts to spin around sideways. So you can hit it either this way or you can hit it around on the other side of the ball. Let's now have a look at the effect of the side spin on Jeff's bat. You'll see that the ball is going to shoot off sideways. The side spin is a little bit trickier for your opponent because the ball is curving in flight and also they need to then 
control the angle of their racket to get the ball back straight onto the table. Let's have a look at serving with topspin now. Serving with topspin can be a little bit dangerous because if the ball goes up at all high over the net, then it's going to be very easy for your opponent to attack the ball. So the topspin serve needs to really skim low over the net. To generate the topspin, we need to brush upwards on the ball. By brushing upwards, the ball is going to rotate forwards that way. So let's have a look now. If I brush the ball up, I'm going to get topspin. And it doesn't matter which way I do it, whether I do it like this, or like this, or like this, it's still getting the ball to rotate forward with topspin. Let's have a look at the effect of the topspin serve on Jeff's bat. So you can see the ball's jumping up off his bat when it contacts. Let's have a look at now how to really make the ball spin. You'll find that when you're close to the table, you're going to feel a bit restricted, especially when you're swinging through with your backspin serves. So it's best when you're trying to learn how to make the ball spin to step right away from the table. Let's have a look at what Jeff can do now by getting the ball to spin on the floor. You can see the ball spinning right around and that gives him good feedback as to what type of spin he's putting. So that one was curving from his left to his right. This one's going to spin back towards him. So that means he's got backspin. This has got side spin again, going from his left to right. You can see there the ball's still spinning on the ground. This one's curving from his right to left. Wow, takes off. A couple of important things to remember when you're doing this practice. Firstly, make sure you're watching the ball because that's gonna be your best feedback as to what type of spin you're generating. Then, when you do get a good spin and you see the ball curving a lot or coming back towards you, remember the feeling and the action that you did to generate that spin. Then when you get back on the table, you'll remember those feelings and be able to generate really good spin back on the table. Now here's a learning to spin challenge for you. The first challenge we're going to do is we're going to put some cones about a table length away from you. 
What we're going to do is we're going to try and see if we can get the ball to go out through the cones and come back again. So out past the cones and coming back towards you. Completing this challenge is a good test of your ability to generate some backspin on the ball and get the ball to go out and come back to you. Our next challenge is going to test your ability to be able to generate some side spin. So here we've got some cones set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and go through these yellow cones and then out through the orange cones. So we're going to get the ball here and curving around through the orange cones. Let's give it a try. So our next challenge is to do the skills on the table. We're going to set up our two orange cones about halfway between the net and the end of the table. We're going to see if we can get the ball to go out past the cones and come back towards the net. The real trick here is to get the right contact on the ball. You just need to make sure that you're brushing at the bottom of the ball and getting the ball to spin backwards. Let's transfer our side spin challenge onto the table now. So we're gonna put our two cones on the middle line about one bat length away from each other. And we're gonna see if we can get the ball to go through there and curve through the cones. If you're struggling with this one, focus on making sure that you're brushing the ball on the side of the ball. If you brush it on the side, then you're going to get the ball to curve. Here's one more challenge for you if you found the first two easy. We're going to put a cone right in the middle of the table and this time I'll have to get the ball to go around one side of the cone and then come back past the other side of the cone. Let's have a go. So the tip for this challenge is that you need to be getting backspin and sidespin. So you need the sidespin to make it go around the cone. You need the backspin to make it come back towards the net. So you're using a combination of two types of spins, the backspin and the sidespin. To do that, you need to be contacting the ball on the side and underneath. Learning to spin is a critical part of improving your serve. If you can complete these challenges, then you're well on the way to developing a great serve.